Okay, thank you for joining us for day two of the end of summer 10 ball spectacular. Our first match is Rick Scarlato versus Brandon Schuff. This is a winner's side final eight match. The other winner's side final eight matches currently playing are Ryan McCreesh versus Tom Zippler, Scott Haas versus TJ Moore, and Turkey Tom McGraw versus Jimmy Various. This is call shot 10 ball, the race to seven, alternate break. 10 ball does not count on the break. has conceded the 10 ball and Brandon with the break and run gets off to a quick one nothing lead.
shot to keep the one ball in front of the pocket to have a shot after. Like as long as he gets from the five to the eight properly and gets on the correct side of the eight, this run should be uh, pretty easy for Rick.
Oh, so did I. Yeah. But once you have four of them, you just want more. has put out a couple different albums and they even have a Christmas album and we don't know why either in case you're wondering yeah and I don't even know how I found that out but I have made people here listen to that multiple times Dawn is it any better now or does it still sound like we're whispering Even though it looks dead end from his angle, he might throw it into the tip. But I expect him to make it. Yeah, scratching this. Uh, oh. oh. Very close to scratching. Very close. That was 
Brandon takes advantage of Rick's unfortunate uh, we'll lay out after break, break yeah. and uh, runs out for a three to one lead. That is Brandon's break. Distance and jacked up. Just made the shot. One of our favorite viewers, Dawn, prefers this view for the break, and I have to agree with her. Just because of how the ball spread, and you get to see the action on them compared to different people. But I'm with I'm with Rick agreeing. Why? Okay. It wasn't going. Up, so I was like, "Why? Why am I talking?" And he says, "It's not doing anything." Uh, but the side view for actual play profile, I think, is better. And then Scott likes the other one because you get to see the players. So everybody has their preference. See, I, I just I like that angle. player Brandon's caliber I don't really see any issues here he can he doesn't have to do anything with the one you just roll it up he can still give himself angle on the two to be able to either draw down or play a stop shot to get on the three I don't know it looks to me like if he rolls up the angle is going to take him more towards the six than straight up well we don't have to worry about that now but yes, no, you're right. It was going to take it. From, oh, it was definitely going to take it more towards the six. Six. I I just watched Cable Guy again for the thirteenth time this month. So anytime I say something that my lisp comes out, I think about getting that tape that he had. But there's not even tapes in it anymore. Okay, am I wrong? Or are we hearing this song for the second time in five minutes? It could just be really long. No. But no, it is it is the same song that I just complained about. It's not a bad song. But I don't get it. I don't get the song. So I think someone in here is listening to the stream and played it again intentionally. All right, well, I'm I th I'm going to go get the remote and skip it and find out who complains. Maybe Tony's logged in from the lake and playing songs on the jukebox. That is a long distance connection. And if you have extra credits, you can just go ahead and send them to me. I'll play Alice's Restaurant 12 times and then we'll have to close. There wasn't much Rick could do there, but I think he, I think he just got frustrated. The six looks like it still goes in the side. The seven. No, I was, I was trying to make up a situation where uh, Brandon was going to have a tough out. I, I don't see any reason why he can't get out here. I think getting on the two ball off this one might be the toughest part of it. And that's sad. He might get behind the four. Yeah. Apparently he was set, setting on the three and forgot the two was on the table. Like I forget who's, who was playing the match yesterday when they played the one-six combo and then shot the two because they figured that they made the one and gave the other person just ball in hand. Uh, I wish I could say I've never done that before, but I know I have. Uh, any player who's played long enough has definitely done something stupid like that before. Three times in one set, I shot the six in trying to get shape on the five. All right, I've never done it that bad. I don't think. But then again, I can't really remember when I was just starting to play. But I do remember once or when I was 
matched up with Bowley, and I was so proud of myself that I'd finally, I'd made a ball and I'd finally beat him in a set. I mean, he had been beating me and beat me and beat me, and I made, I think he was giving me like the six out. I, mean, I was really really bad, and I made a tough shot in the side. And I look up, I'm all proud. He's like, "That's cool, but you might want to make the five ball before you make the six." <laughs> I'm like, I looked up, and it was right there. And after that, uh, I don't think I ever made that mistake again while uh, while matching up with someone. I wasn't gambling when I did it. I just was playing a friend of mine. Was clearly not paying attention. Yeah, I always have the problem of I don't pay attention. <laughs> All right, so. Yeah, I, I gotta, gotta agree with you. I mean, a lot of people don't like how much he talks, although he's, he hasn't been talking during the tournament.
seven. No. That's the three, I think. That is the three. I was like, there's two seven balls <laughs> on this table. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm giving this back. kind of defeat the purpose of having a mess. I'm not really 100% sure. Yeah, Pat was a Pat was a great man. He was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Brandon just always looks like just doesn't care. No, that's John Harrogate. Brandon cares a little bit. Oh, that's true. I like the way John plays. He's like, oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm going to get down and I'm going to hit this ball 300 miles an hour. I might even look at it first. All right. So it is a 5-1 Brandon with Brandon to break.
so I'm trying to think of the best way to say this without because I, I don't want to go against Brandon winning and I, I always want Rick to win so let's see if no, there's no proper way to say it I kind of want Brandon just to break dry and Rick to be able to put something together and make this a close match because uh, the alternate break format it just takes one or two small things and it can go from something that should be a 7-5 race to a 7-1 yeah, and basically that's what we saw. Rick had the uh, bad layout on the two on the second break, and then in the last rack after Brandon pushed, Rick made a really nice shot, but got unfortunate and bobbled the two ball on the second shot. Those two mistakes turned what could have been a 3-3 race into a 5-1 race. Yeah. I shouldn't even say mistakes. Getting a bad lead off the break isn't really a mistake. Break better. Which I, I can't really say anything about because, I mean, Rick, Rick play, breaks 10 ball better than most people. I mean, Absolutely. He, he, he has spent so much time on his break. I mean, you have just people like Brandon who's he's played more pool than... I could hope to play for the rest of my life. So he's just seen all the shots. He's made all the shots. And he knows when to play safe, when to go for it. And he knows he's going to miss. And then it doesn't affect him at all. He's like, I'll just get it next time. I wonder how uh, Turkey Tom's doing down there. I don't know. Because uh, Jim Boy, I know he, a lot of people call him Jim Bo, but he's 62 years old, so I want to call him Jim Boy. Uh, is a player a lot, not a lot of people know about, but he plays extremely good. Yeah, and I don't know if, if Turk can uh, hang with him at all. We got a lot of good matches going right now. You know the combined age between Jim Boy and Turk is 124. I thought Turk was 63. We were talking yesterday. He said he uh, that they were both 62. I'm not sure Turkey knows how old he is. Well, when you get that old, you just you stop counting. All right, all right. They're 120 plus combined. Yes. Jesus. And a third time yeah. for this song. In case anybody was wrong. Wondering, I mean, what up? If anybody needs any uh, Q work done, uh, go somewhere else. <laughs> no, we have Brian Bianca in the building. He does very, very good work. So if you want to come down, watch some pool, get a uh, new tip in, get shaft turned down, cleaned, anything. Um, he'll be here all day because he has nothing else to do. He has no life. Like most pool players. All right, so you, do you try and just put top on this ball and come back, or do you try and draw four rails? <laughs> I, I might have been joking, but at least my my idea would have been better than that. Hey, ten years ago, I might have tried to draw up four rails, but my stroke is gone playing on bar boxes. I remember back in Bill and Billy days. I told them I would I wouldn't go to the expo because of bar boxes. I hated bar boxes. Yeah, the expo was the only time I played on bar boxes back then. Yeah, I. I think when it was still at when, when Bill and Billy's was open, I never went to the expo because I no, I think I did once. I don't know, uh, but I hated bar box tables, and then my eyesight started to go. And I love bar box table. <laughs> it's amazing how that happens. Absolutely amazing. So, uh, Patch Frank, he asked me, he uh, he's not gonna be able to be here today for Wilkie's um, fantasy football league draft. He was texting me, 
Hey, uh, if I send you my picks, can you draft for me? <laughs> yeah. You go ahead and send me your picks. I'll draft your team. It may not be the people you send me, <laughs> but I'm going to draft your team. So if you're listening, I got you, Frank. All right. For Rick to have any chance of coming back here, he's got to... play it just like that I, d I was trying to figure out how he would how he could get on the four to where he actually had a sh chance now you he can put that four on the side right I think so I'm, it's not, I don't think it's a simple shot but I believe it goes oh it, it definitely goes um, the question is what is he gonna have the 510 combo or is he gonna try and if he just so rolls it then he'll have the five in Five in the bottom right corner past the seven, and he'll be a little off angle, but. Okay, I thought it was a thinner cut than that. I didn't think he could hold it for the uh, five in the right corner. I couldn't hold it, but you and, you and Rick both hit soft enough that I think you'd be able to hold. You're not going to be ecstatic about your lead, but. You can just. I don't know. That, that tends close enough in front of the pocket that I might not try and hold it. He did. He uh, he did look at the side. So apparently he just didn't like the angle. Might not have been there. Or maybe he didn't want to show too much. I somehow don't think that's the case. <laughs> <laughs> Frank just commented. I just want to make sure you're still listening. I will definitely draft who you say, or who I say, whatever you said. I remember last time someone uh, drafted, what was it, three years ago, drafted the Redskins defense in the first round and won. How do you draft any defense in the first round? First of all, how do you draft the Redskins defense, period? Well, that too. But I, I mean, there's only 12 people in the league. There are 32 defenses. I, I, don't, I don't care if a team's got the 85 Bears or the 2,000 Ravens defense. You don't take a defense in the first round. No. Uh, usually it's, uh, what, the ninth round they start going? Lots of alcohol. That's right. He was <laughs> the guy who drafted it, uh, drafted them. Almost his entire team was Redskins. He refused to ever put a Cowboy on his team. Now, he was a diehard Redskins fan. I would have guessed that. Yeah. Uh, and he never looked at, like, what corresponding teams had bye weeks. Uh, one, I think it was two years ago. His entire team was on by. Oh, I, I had a fantasy roster like that one of the first years I played. Yeah. Fifth week rolls around. I have a kicker, and everybody else was on a bye. You didn't win that week, did you? No. Yeah, that would have been tough. <laughs> Last year, during one of my... It had to be one of my early weeks. I had a player get kicked out in the first quarter another one get hurt another one like a no show I think he had he caught one pass a quarterback that threw four interceptions I I, I had negative points going into the the Sunday night game yeah I lost that wow yeah wasn't good there you go no. No matter how you look at it, this is ugly. Yes. Right. Frank, uh, do you know what position you're drafting in yet? And, uh... Why are we only using this side of the room? Uh, because there's only four matches that can be played right now. Well, I was saying, I... Why is there one match here, one match there, and then two matches over there so no one's next to each other while playing? On um, the off chance that the bar had customers that wanted to play pool. All right. Pool players do not wake up.